What's up? So today I want to talk about project management. Uh, I know a very interesting topic. Uh, it's going to take me like 10, 15 minutes to explain. Uh, if you do want to click off and watch a Mr. Beast video, it uh, should be more interesting than this and more engaging, but uh, this one should be more insightful. And if you're starting a business uh, like myself, I shared these maybe uh, so you can take some gold nuggets from them, if there are any, and apply them to your business. So let me just open here my magic uh, whiteboard, which has the title of this video, sort of, on here. And yeah, I, mean, I want to talk a bit about project management because one thing I learned uh, with starting, and I'll show you here a couple of examples here as well because I do think it's important not just that I speak, but that I show you examples. Um, but yeah, when I was I was starting <coughs> Veta, sorry, which is my business, essentially a platform where you can hire uh, SEO professionals, but I'm not here to promote the business. Yeah, um, one thing that really helped me out with, because uh, I'm not working in, on this alone. Let me just minimize my face here. I'm working with a developer. So me, myself, I am this guy right here and I'm a non-technical founder, right? I don't know how to code. I know the basics, but I, I, would, I could never code a platform like Vetted, right? Uh, I don't know enough. And uh, I could learn maybe if I wanted to, but then I, would have, don't, I wouldn't have the enough focus on the marketing, which is an other essential part of the, of the business to grow it, right? Because if you have like a two pillars of growing a business, essentially it's the tech side and the marketing side, right? Otherwise you cannot grow a business just with the tech or just with the marketing because you need to have a great product, but you also need to know how to market it. Otherwise people won't know about it, right? So yeah, I'm a non-technical founder uh, and the Fonsu is my, my co-founder. He's the technical guy, right? Essentially he's the nerd uh, that knows how to uh, build software. He's an amazing and very, very talented software engineer and he built Vetted from scratch. Now, when you're working together um, as a team, it's very important that uh, both of us were aligned and are aligned, right? Uh, it's very important that we communicate and uh, we often and throughout the past year work, uh, worked a lot together, right, in the same room. Uh, but this year, for example, we've been working um, not so much in the same room, right? Afonso comes often here to the office, uh, but... Um, it's always important, even though we work together, to have a centralized place where we can um, manage the project, right? And, and project, project management seems like a boring sort of topic and uh, something that's really not very um, necessary, but project management is essentially uh, a way that you can manage, manage the product you're building, right? The, the whole business, so it's very, very important. If you don't manage what you're, what you're building, how can you know where, where you're at at the moment and where you're going, right? So we needed to find a place where we could list what we were doing, what had been done already, and what were the plans for the future, essentially a roadmap for the product. And uh, I'm going to have to blur a lot of these things out because we have a lot of private info here from our roadmap and all that. But as you can see here, we have here the backlog, which is essentially things that features or issues we want to tackle but are yet to be tackled. We have the things on hold, which are essentially things that we're, we were doing, like tasks that we were doing, for example, fix this bug or talk with this client or add this feature. But for some reason or another, they got uh, delayed, right? So they're on hold. We have to pay attention to them still, but they're on hold because we cannot move forward without, because uh, we're missing a piece, for example. Then we have the next, which are the tasks that are up next, right? Next features, next issues, next fixes, whatever. The doing, things that are currently being done. So before I move on, I want to tell you that essentially when I look at this, and we can change this around, right? We can move them around, which is essentially like Trello. I don't know if you know Trello, but it allows us to have a visual um, of what's happening with the business, with the product, right? It, this is essentially product management in a, in a nutshell, right? I, myself, Afonso, and any other person that uh, comes into the business to, that, to work with us knows exactly where we're at in the present and where we're going in the future with the backlog, with the next, with the on hold. Uh, we, of course, have the done, things that we did. And it's important we keep this here, for example, because if you want to search for things, uh, we need to sometimes find them in the done, in the pile of the things that were done. So this is very powerful. We use Notion for this. I can leave uh, this template down below if you're interested, just comment below and I'll give you this template for free. Uh, you can use this f essentially for anything in your life, for project manage for project managing your your own life. Uh, I, for example, use it. I mix. I have a board for my for my life tasks essentially, where it's mixed personal stuff with business stuff. Essentially, I organize my life. 
Um, I tried writing down my to-do list on a piece of paper every night and then in the morning look at it and see, okay, I have to do this, this, and this. And it didn't work for me. It works for, for some people to do that, uh, to just write down their goals for the next day in a piece of paper or in, or in their Mac notes. Uh, but for me, it didn't work. Um, and I tried this and this is fantastic because I can just, I have the dopamine of dragging things from one side to another, right? I know what I have to do today. It's here. Okay, I look at this. I get started from the first one. I, I can even click them to enlarge them. If they have any text here, I can I can check the text. And when I'm done, I move them to done. And this, for me, it's what, it's what worked. And I'm essentially project managing my life and my business. Uh, we have here another one. Uh, so yeah, we have quite a lot of these. So where do I want to go with all this? Uh, essentially telling you um, and telling myself as well that project management is very, very important. You can call it um, life management. You can call it um, communication board because you can use Slack for, to talk with people. You can use WhatsApp. You can use Facebook chat. You can use email. But things get lost in, in chats, right? For chat, we use Slack. Project management, we use Notion. And this combo has worked fantastic for us, right? Because we always know where we're at at the moment. And anyone that comes in also will know, and we know where we're going in the future. So that's pretty cool, uh, pretty, something pretty cool I wanted to share with you um, in regards to how we're doing our project management in Vetted. Uh, I think it's quite powerful. And uh, I do, I wasn't doing this before, and it, it took Afonso coming into the business, because um, Afonso is a software engineer, and from what I've noticed working with software engineers and developers, is that they're very analytical and they like to keep track of stuff, right? Because being a software engineer and a developer is quite intense, right? You also have to, have to keep uh, have to be thinking and solving problems, and um, I think they do have to be very organized by nature. And him coming into the business and helping me organize the business like this uh, was a great addition. So, if you're working with a developer or if you're not, um, damn, my voice just cracked. <clears throat> uh, I would say that this is a must. At least it's been working for us. And I only share things that work for me. I, I wouldn't be sitting here saying that, do this, do that, if it didn't work. Uh, it works for me, I'm sharing this. Hopefully it works for you. Um, yeah, that's essentially it. I'm at seven minutes, I think I, w I was boring enough. I'll leave you to watch the Mr. Best video. Let me know if you like sort of these videos. Again, I'm still trying to figure out what I wanna produce in this channel. I don't wanna be one of those guys that produces like how to make money online content and all that and then, uh, I don't know, I want to provide actual valuable, tangible tangible value. I know these are boring and won't get many views because if I wanted to get views, I could just do what I did like a month ago, like the Iman, Rolex, whatever, and uh, 160,000 in seven months and all that. I can do that content to get some more views and probably I'll do it in the future to get more views. But I think the main focus of this channel is going to be this type of content because I do think it's very, very valuable. Um, yeah, you also get to see behind the scenes of the office and um, that's essentially it. Thank you so much, like, subscribe and I'll see you uh, next week. Cheers.